So a lot of people keep asking me, Durag, have you played the game yet? Durag, where's the alpha gameplay? Durag, what's your thoughts on the alpha? Durag, I leaked some of the gameplay. You can use this to show on your channel. Look, guys, guys, as much as I would like to show off gameplay and give you my thoughts, there's a little something that is preventing me from doing that. It is something that could quite literally take down my channel if I decided to do that. It's a little something called a non-disclosure agreement, or NDA for short. This is what's preventing me from showing gameplay and telling you my opinion. Like, the most that I can say is that I'm still playing the game but that can mean a lot of things it could be maybe i'm still playing it because i put in 120 dollars and i want to get my worth out of it or i'm actually enjoying the game i don't know i can't say much but from previous information that void is given out they said that they would let people talk and show gameplay if they sent in a letter asking but then they sent out a second letter that kind of contradicted that but i went ahead and wrote a letter anyway because eventually they're gonna allow people to show and tell and when that happens i'm gonna be all over it believe you me i've got a lot to say and i've got a lot to show but for now I thought I would just take the time to answer a couple of questions that I've been seeing frequently. So for those of you that don't know, the alpha started on the 19th of August, so not that long ago, and it's under heavy NDA. Like, there's been leaks that have been coming out fairly recently. The Void has been furiously taking as much down as they can. That's right, they've been using freaking DMCAs and a bunch of crazy stuff to get rid of all that gameplay. And the reasoning behind that is because the alpha is not indicative of the final product, so they don't want people to get the wrong idea. For those of you that don't know, the game isn't supposed to come out until Q4 of 2020 or early 2021 so the game still has a long way to go before it's actually finished but i mean it's the internet you can never truly hide something right but yeah for people that don't know now you know the alpha already started that's why uh in my videos you'll sometimes see some people are playing ready or not and that's the reason all right another frequent question that keeps getting asked is um where is ready or not on steam it vanished so as i said before and some of you might have seen in previous videos ready or not is still on steam but for some odd reason void decided to make the page unlisted for what reason is still unclear. One thing's for sure though, you cannot pre-order Ready or Not on Steam. This is due to a policy that Steam has that states that new developers to the platform cannot do pre-orders, which is probably better for Void considering how much revenue Steam takes from developers. This is why Void is going through their own website and using Exola, which I understand that a lot of people dislike Exola, but so far I haven't seen any issues. Maybe like one or two people just not getting their keys on time, but aside from that, uh, yeah. So if you're wondering how that works, so you go to the Ready or Not website and you buy whichever version that you want which you could get the very reasonable edition which is like the 40 bucks one or the very expensive one which is the 120 and again that's if you want to support the developers you know they're not going to put microtransactions or loot crates in the game and you'll definitely get some perks with the supporter edition like the first free dlc some skin packs your name in the credits of the game and you'll get access to the alpha you know stuff like that the only drawbacks to the supporter edition are the price and the nda but this will really help support the dev team it's completely up to you but as soon as you buy either one you'll receive a message from exola via email that should contain a receipt if you bought the supporter edition that exola email should contain a receipt and your activation code if not then you'll receive two emails but it's pretty likely that you'll receive one from exola now whatever you do do not delete that email you'll need that because void interactive is going to send you an email too with a one-time link to a secret discord and you'll be able to get into it but if you don't have the receipt then you won't be able to see all the conversations that are going on within that discord because within that receipt it contains a code that you have to punch in to the discord here so that you can read and see what we're all talking about so if you bought the game and you didn't get the key contact exola if you got the key but didn't receive the email from void interactive contact void interactive and so far it seems like it's been going pretty well like i haven't seen any issues with that uh maybe like well that's not true i've seen maybe like one or two but they seem to have gotten resolved yeah everything's been kind of smooth sailing so far so yeah at the moment, Void Interactive isn't working with content creators or anybody else for that matter, which really sucks, especially for me, but I can actually see why they do it. There are a lot of people that are out there and they see an early version of a game and immediately bash it or say that that's as good as it's going to get. Like the other day I was looking on the Ready or Not Reddit and somebody was saying that they had seen leaks of the Ron Alpha and they were like, oh my god, this game looks like shit. It looks unfinished and riddled with bugs. And I'm just like, hey, dumbass. I think the point of an alpha is to you, you do realize that this is in uh, alpha stage, right? It's fucking I mean listen it's not a bad mentality to be critical of games but you have to distinguish between the good ones and the bad ones in this day and age it is very hard to tell which one is a good game and which one is a scam to give an example Red or Not has been in development since 2016 and they actually have something to show and I've been able to play it they have an investor that's been funding them Police 1013 on the other hand has been in development since I've heard reports as far as October of 2013 maybe somewhere in 2014 and they have nothing to show but they have taken a shit ton of money in donations 
Legends. Ground Branch has been in development for a very long time, close to like 10 years I'd say, but they never had the amount of money that Police 1013 got and they released into early access in August sometime last year. Like the only funding that they get is through people buying the game, which hasn't been too much. Man, just imagine if Ground Branch had received 130k, they probably would have finished up their project within a year. Hell and Loose was also like that, where if you bought into their Kickstarter, you were able to hop into their alpha, which was not open to the public, but you could show gameplay. But a lot of people bashed Hell Let Loose, I remember, for its early gameplay. Like, now Hell Let Loose is fucking great, but like, back then, people were like really bashing the alpha. So, maybe that's the reason why. Void Interactive looked at that and they were like, oh shit, we do that, bad things are gonna come our way. But yeah, I wrote a letter to Void Interactive asking if I can, uh, you know, record some gameplay. I don't want to stream, because streaming always, it's always shit on my channel, but like, if I can record some gameplay, talk to you guys about it, how I feel, do all this and that. But we shall see, you know, we'll see what the future holds. So I hope that gave you a little insight into what I'm doing with here. As soon as I'm able to get out ready or not content, I will get it out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe, ding the bell, like the video, share the video. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a patron. Or if you really feel like investing in the channel, you know, check out the NordVPN link that's down below. I want to thank Tack Hands for sending me the cool looking thumbnail. Apparently he made it with crayon. And uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.